This is one of my newest stove inventions that I've just come up with. Uh, not a complete cook kit because this is not the pot. This is just the stove and a container to carry stuff in. So what I've done, I'm going to go ahead and show you the stove and then I'll demonstrate how it works. Is I have a little Tupperware dish. It's uh, actually a ball uh, container. It's got uh, alcohol lighter. Windscreen and pot stand in the bottom half of the stove down here, which I will set off to the side for right now while I demonstrate how the stove works. Okay, and the stove is your standard. I might be too high there, I'm sorry. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little high. This stove looks like a little UFO, kind of. That's the entire stove right there. It has just a water bottle aluminum container where the top can come off little felt in there and it can be a simmer stove if you're looking to just simmer a small cup of coffee or something in a little pot such as a Heineken pot works really well for that um, I will demonstrate that when I have some actual fuel, not just an empty bottle. Here's some fuel. And some water. Now I'm not going to do a cook time on this because there really is no need to do a cook time on a center. Just put a little water in there. Show you that it, uh, I don't want to light it without having some water in there because it could then burn the bottom of my pot. So you put as much fuel as you want in here. It holds a whole lot of fuel. Obviously, we don't need that much. And you need to light it. I'm missing a ring. One second, I'll be right back. All right, I found the ring I was missing. This ring's on here just to keep the heat from directly hitting the can, which then could melt the plastic. So it's just a spacer ring that allows the heat not to heat the can so much. So this then we'll just go there. A simple little heat. I'm gonna turn off some lights so you can see the flame pattern. And that's the camera adjust there. It's a very low simmer. Uh it actually gets a little higher than that as it gets going. You can kind of see that a little bit there. It's not a deep heat, um, just a low heat there on the bottom of the pot. I'll even get up in there and show you the bottom. Not a big heat, just a low heat. Like I said, this is just a simmer setup for the stove. The other part of the stove here is when I take this, that ring goes back in the bucket because we don't use that for this part. Two lighters. Okay. So now, this pops out of here like this. Push that up. Turn it over. And drop it back down in. I'm going to put the stove snap back down in there. Then we have more of a mushroom cap tile style stove here. I think I actually pulled my wick too far out there. I did. Okay, and that wick will get down into the bottom of here then and grab any fuel sitting in here out, which I haven't put any in there. So I'm not going to do any kind of cooking right now, but get my arm out the way and you guys can see. This one you just pour in here and then you also fill the outside up with fuel. Oops, and if any runs over, that's kind of nice. It's I've done that twice, how I've run over. It runs right down the side here and back into the base. If this tips over, it literally will actually drip out the bottom right here. But because that's about a quarter inch high, it holds about a quarter inch of flu fuel in there. Put your ring around there. I just checked the temperature on this. It's 55 degrees. I've been sitting down here for quite some time. And uh, my basement's 55 degrees right now. 
Here is the windscreen I've built for it, only because this is the size it fits into there. I'm not sure if this is going to be tall enough for outdoors, or if this will actually cause too much heat to stay inside and then melt the plastic base. Uh, that needs to be tested, obviously, and I'm thinking I could actually go like this, up above the plastic. I'm not sure how much heat would transfer down to that plastic in that case. But if you're outdoors and it's cold and it's cold enough to need a windscreen, maybe it won't transfer that much heat. It has to be tested to see. And let her run. I can't tell how centered it is in the picture here. I'll look in here and see if I can see better from back further where you guys are. Yeah, it's pretty centered. Let's zoom in a little bit. Instead of using the zoom on the camera, it doesn't work as well as just bringing it in. And maybe we can see the time if I turn it. That's not a temperature reading, it's just time. You can see I have a little wind in here coming in from the uh, right to the left. This does not have a. That is kind of hot on there. This does not have a way to refill it while it's running. So what happens is after the massive uh, first run off of the outer wick is done, then it just boils from the center, from whatever it's pulled down in the bottom down here. It continues to burn. So that's why I'm trying to see what kind of time frame I can get a boil for two cups. Uh, I was hoping it would get to a boil before the outer wick ran out. It did not even start to simmer, it didn't look like there. And that was uh, four minutes in now. Actually, it sounds like maybe just now it's starting to simmer a little bit. At four minutes. And we don't have a large flame anymore. Yeah. Just now starting to simmer. It's hard to see in there, it's so dark. With the lights out. But now you can see where that's burnt down to the center of the carbon felt. There's no way to refill that while it's going. Um, the only thing I, could, I was thinking of is I could put something up from inside of it up and then have that be squirt up in there to fill it back up, but I haven't thought that far into it yet. I didn't want to mess up the threads on here, because it's nice to be able to thread this into the bottom of that um, container, and then carry all the stuff in this container here. So that's why I haven't. And this has become just basically a wick stove now, I mean a uh, simmer stove now. Although as hot as it is, it may, uh, may or may not get to a boil here. Definitely bubbling but not a boil. And that's 5 minutes and 20 seconds. It's still a pretty good sized circle in there. I think the distance here may need to be a little bit less above the wick. I may need to take one whole um, set off of this. Uh, another thing I had thought about is this um, insert here can slide up and down. I have no way of doing that while it's actually burning but it will sit in there at different heights. I can adjust it. Uh, it's not tight enough that it will stay, but I, would, I was trying to find a way to make it so it could stay. Uh, I think we finally got a boil. Yeah, we've got a boil now. <coughs> Not a massive boil, because obviously the flame's only in the center now. But we have a bit of a boil, and I... I would think that would burn for a while, because I put a lot of fluid right in the center there. So, it really needs a way to be refilled, but it's looking pretty cool. I like the idea so far. I just need to see what I can call what's next on it. Give you a view without the hardware cloth. And that actually stayed pretty cool on the bottom there, so... Here's a view without the hardware cloth. 
and you can actually pick it up, take it out of there while it's burning.